Well, Saturday, the announcement was made at the San Diego Comic-Con that Marvel is willingly sabotaging their cinematic universe by casting Robert Downey Jr. as Victor Von Doom. This may not be the case that they're fully sabotaging things. Obviously, they think this is a brilliant move and 4D chess, but given their recent track record, this is potentially obscenely stupid. Or it might be genius, I guess, but frankly, there is way more risk of this sucking than not sucking. I'm going to dive into all of the possibilities here on this casting. The 14,605 ways it could be potentially horrible, and the one way it could actually be pretty good. I'm Dan Umthen, and this is the Doomcast. Yes, that Doom. First off, do me a favor, hit subscribe and the bell. I make about one of these videos a week. They are all great, so please don't miss even one. Now, I'm gonna run through these in order. The first and unlikeliest possibility is that this is a Doombot modeled after uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark appearance or possibly just based off of his armor, um, maybe using his voice. That would be sort of cheap and dumb, but fine, I guess. Uh, mostly it would be just dumb but a clever marketing move to generate buzz. Another possibility is that we're just gonna have him be a variant. Uh, and I'm gonna get into that because there's varying degrees to which this is dumb or kind of smart, but it's still mostly dumb unless there's a broader plan, which even then, anyway, other bad options. Uh, another possibility is that they're doing Iron Maniac or uh, Evil Tony Stark, uh, Doom in a Bottle version. Um, or, or an infamous Iron Man thing where he, he just steals Tony Stark's face and is trying to present himself as a good guy in this version of the universe, maybe. Um, which, all in all, any of those are a pretty horrible way to introduce Doom as a full standalone character to the Marvel Cinematic Universe because you are tying him forever to a comparison to Iron Man and Tony Stark, which is a sort of cheap choice in a lot of ways because he's absolutely not an imitation or foil to Iron Man. It's not a good comparison. Even though writers have done it, it doesn't really work. His foil, it is essential to the character of Doom for his foil and rival to be Reed Richards. Any comic fan knows this, and they should probably hire one at Marvel Studios. Doing it as an evil Iron Man would be the worst and dumbest possible move that they could make. I would not forgive Kevin Feige, and I would probably proceed. In short order, the best case scenario, if they decide to keep Robert Downey Jr. as the main Doom, is if he never shows his face at all, and not even once, and I'm not kidding around about that at all. Not once. Uh, however, I think the most likely scenario is clued to the fact that they referred to him specifically as Victor Von Doom, and not Doctor Doom. My guess is that this is a version of Doctor Doom from another universe, a variant, yes, and then the prime universe is Doctor Doom, whatever we're talking about. If we really, I hate that Feige insists on calling it Earth 616. It is Earth 19999. Uh, in any case, um, this prime universe is Doctor Doom, should be a well-cast banger of a malevolent dude who is surprising because people, listen, Robert Downey Jr. isn't it. I'm not questioning his acting chops. The guy's an excellent actor. He's very good at what he does. But I also think that it doesn't make sense to link this character to Iron Man at all. It's a terrible choice. I think and I hope that Marvel Studios understands how critical this is and that they don't screw this up because this means the rest of their franchise. There's nothing wrong with Doctor Doom as a character. There's nothing to update, there's nothing to correct, there's nothing to really adapt. You made a movie that did a billion dollars about a tree and a raccoon. Play Doctor Doom straight from the Prime Comics right out of the 2015 Secret Wars. Give me Doctor Strange's Black Priests. Give me a full-on adaptation of the lead-up to that. Incursions, forcing wars between universes, sure, that's fine. Give me a straightforward adaptation of Doctor Doom and Victor Von Doom in the main Marvel Cinematic Universe. If they were to recast anyone as a central Doctor Doom, 
that could be Mads Mikkelsen. That's probably the odds on uh, fan choice, I would guess. If they have to pick anybody else, uh, Lars Mikkelsen, fine. Any scars guard, Giancarlo Esposito would have been a great choice. Michael Fassbender would have been a great choice. Killian Murphy would have been a great choice. But even Anthony Hopkins, I would have been fine with Anthony Hopkins getting recast as Dr. Doom, just as the voice. Anyone who has mastered malevolent calm. Do that, do that guy. This guy, I'm talking about the guy who is a Romani, who lost his mother, who had taught him magic, mastered science, went to New York, studied at ESU to find a way to contact his mother, developed a rivalry with Reed Richards, ended up scarred and humiliated because of his narcissism, uh, became the flawed dictator of Latveria who lives in a frickin' castle, wears armor and a green cape that he does not take off just once. One time outside of the Roger Corman adaptation of Fantastic Four, just do it once because we all know it works. We're literally all begging you to not screw this up. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been the Doomcast. It's going to be what it's going to be. We're all going to be fine. I'm going to be fine, I think. But there's a second Doomcast coming out this week, review of Deadpool and Wolverine. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next week. Peace.